Today, I'm surviving in the seven most extreme places in the entire world. An underwater jail, a hurricane, an abandoned mansion. And to start off, I'll be surviving 24 hours in the largest Lego city. Last to leave officially starts now. Remember, it's for $10,000. Now that the time has officially started, let me give you guys a quick tour of Chick-fil-A, AKA Stove's Kitchen, AKA our five-star restaurant. We got a fridge. We got a blue stove. We got a, ooh, this is hype. This is an intercom and you know, you can actually here, watch this. My joke, my joke. Uh, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Actually, uh, welcome to Stove's Kitchen. What would you like to order? Sounds good. Go up to the second window. Have a great day already, and thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, yes, sir. So, you got donuts in here? I got all sorts of food. Yeah, go through a drive-thru, though. Hello? Sir? Yes, can I order food, please? No, you can, uh, I saw you pulling up, um, by walking. Vehicles only, please. What? I built this city, so just give me a sandwich. What do you mean? Those are the rules. I can't serve people that don't have vehicles, so... Whatever, guys. If he wants to play hard to get, let's see. I didn't actually bring a vehicle. Oh, there's a button. I'll just take this red one. Oh, whoa! Oh, stop there, stop there. Whoa, what, what are you doing? I need that car. I need to go get food. So, yeah, you're gonna have to pay me some quick cold cash. What do you mean? $900 right now. All right, fine. Well, guys, I do have a bunch of money. So here, hold this for a second. Oh, that's how you get them. And now when I have to pay for my food later, I have money for it. 900 big ones. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess. Whoa, oh, oh, what? oh, Bailey, you just stepped out. No, look. You just stepped out. No, my foot What do you mean? Over. What? I know. Trust me, I parked the car here. I know. Oh my gosh, the guys! I thought we had an elimination. No, pardon, the door's not working right now, but you can hop right on it. All right, as long as I don't cross and step on the blue, then I'm good. All right, you see? Careful now. Later. Yo, guys, Ryan is right on the edge of the town, and I think if I just give him a little nudge, he's gonna fall out because he's not paying attention. And you definitely need to stay alert in one of these challenges. Let's do it. Two longs. Whoop. No! Bye. Dude, you're out. That's so messed up. You can't do that. Uh, I just did. No. <laughs> you're in the blue. I'm in the green, baby. Oh, wait. Uh, now you're out. Dude, come on. That's so messed up. Unless you want to go to prison for 24 hours. <laughs> no. Sorry, Ryan. You shouldn't have been that close to city bounds. Oh, no, not the, oh, get out of my city. You don't belong here. A couple hours into the challenge and we have our first elimination. Ryan accidentally stepped out, so he is eliminated from the rest of the challenge. It will not be winning $10,000. Carter, Carter, check this out. Whoa, what? Uh, I haven't even seen you guys at all yet. Tour of the new girls lounge. The Lizzie lounge? Yep. No trespassing girls only. No so, boys allowed. What? You can't really come in, but you can look from the outside. Okay, fine. Okay. So this is our entrance. This is our lounge area, TV. We got the setup. We got our Christmas lights. Wow. And over here is our candy bar. We're still working on it. And the coolest part is we have a bunk bed. What? Okay. No, you don't. Can you pop in bed? All right. This is a real bunk bed? Wait, what the heck? Wait, you guys are gonna like sleep here for weeks. I know, that's the plan. All right, well, have fun. Uh, excuse me, Chick-fil-A, I am finally back, and as you will see, I am in a brand new car. It's very nice, only cost me $900, thanks to Bailey. I, I need see you on a vehicle now. That's right, I need food, so pull around to the second window, have your credit card ready. Uh, it's gonna come out, too, let me check real quick. $100, I'll see you in the second window. Pulling up to the second window, and there's second window. $100? Oh, here in the Lego city, it is a high cost of living, but at least we get the greatest stuff. We got Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Now that I got food and I got a reason to go home. Oh, man. Ah, oh. Yo, are you okay? I heard that. Yeah, ow. Okay, Carter, I'll make a bet with you. If I do a backflip right now, can I drive your Range Rover? Sure. We have to stay on the road. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow. All right, stop. stop it. All right, I'm gonna drive it. If you look out the front, I got the whole view of the city. <laughs> Oh, where's the law enforcement? Where are the cops? Guys, there is a lot of crazy stuff happening in the city. We need the police because there is a jail. In fact, my house is right next to the jail. That's actually a prison. I have a feeling when the cops show up, someone's getting arrested today. Denise, we do have to clock in for work because I don't know how we're going to pay for all of our bills here. So we got to change into our uniforms and patrol the streets. Okay, time for work. Time for work. Okay, we got to make our daily commute to work. So grab your bike, Denise. All right, officer. And uh, we gotta go drive to work. We don't get paid enough to have our own cars, unfortunately. So this is what we'll have to do. Reporting for duty, Captain. What are you guys doing? Uh, Liz, Denise? Carter, we're going to work. You're, are you telling me you guys were hired to be cops at the Lego City? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. 
I knew there was gonna be some police officers that the governor hired to run the prison today, and it's the girls. This is gonna be a disaster. Guys, the first challenge that we're gonna be doing out here, since Liz and Denise are the cops, we are gonna be doing a last to get arrested out here, and uh, we're gonna just be trying to navigate the city. If we break any rules or break any laws, we're gonna get arrested, and the last one to get arrested is going to be the winner of this mini challenge, so let's get started. Yo, it's last to get arrested. The girls are the cops. We can break any rules we want, but if you get arrested, you lose. The last one to get arrested is the winner. Are you ready for this? Please, yeah. Let's go. Start drifting, boys. Oh. Guys, we need to break as many rules as we can in this city. Guys, I think Bailey might get arrested first. Uh-oh. There goes the cops. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, it's going crazy out here. I'm gonna lay low, I'm gonna play it smart. I'm sneaking into the girls all around. Did you climb into the bunk bed? Oh my gosh, guys, they're gonna be so mad if they see me in here. I can't believe I'm in the girls' life. So far, guys, there's Bailey. What are you doing? I'm breaking the biggest rule ever right now. Uh -oh, I thought you should get on the move. I'm gonna need you to grab a bike and we're gonna need a double team. Ah! Grab your bike! Go, go, go! Hey! Let's go, Lee! Go get stuck! Go get stuck! Oh, no. Get your bike! Oh, 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 get Denise! You guys stepped out! He's still arrested, get him! Okay guys, I don't know what just happened, that was literally rogue. I'm not going to jail! Let's take hey. him to where he belongs! That's not nice! Hold on a second. Wasn't I out? I literally left the locusts. Why am I still in jail? Next time, pay your parking ticket. So, if you were the first to get arrested. Yeah, but I'm eliminated, so why am I still in jail? Yeah, no, you gotta stay in jail. And you can't win 10 grand. What? Yep. Oh, wait, and Denise, wait, you got eliminated too, so you're out. What? Yeah, you stepped out. Parker, the rules don't apply to us, Thomas. Yes, yeah. they do. Well, if I win, then she wins, and if she wins, then I win, so whatever. Well, she can't win anymore because she's out, so she doesn't count, so it's just you left us for the girls. Moving on to the second challenge, which is last to get arrested, part two. But the way this one works is Bailey and I have 30 seconds to hide anywhere we want. Hide and seek style in the Lego city. And then Liz and Denise will have to find us. The first one to get caught will be eliminated and thrown in prison. Hey, All right, and I'm off. All right, guys, we gotta hide. Carter, where are you gonna hide? I think I'm going up to the clock tower. Really? She has to catch us after, so. 19, 18, 17, 17 16, 10. 15. I think I'm good up here. Yeah, she'll never find me. 14, 13, 3, uh, wait, 14, 15, 16, 14. Guys, I'm going in here. No one would ever guess someone in here. Gosh, I'm All right, guys, wish me luck. Nine, eight, seven. I think we're good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get them. Okay. We're coming! All right, I got my eyes out. I gotta make a diversion. Don't touch my bike! Go, 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 Denise! In the sky Denise, get out of my way! Come on, Denise, here! Did you see anything? Denise, you gotta look in every nook and cranny. Denise, you're going backwards again! Yo, she's trying to knock me out the tower! She's like the worst partner in the world. I seriously think there's something in here. Why is this table so heavy? This table is stuck. Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go see what Denise is doing. Oh my god! I still don't think she sees me. Get out! Can you hear me? Get out of here, guys. I need to get the tower! Stop! 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 Oh my gosh, no way. They can't tip. Not the clock tower. No. Go! 
Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Run, Bailey! Run! Get him! You're tearing apart the city! Hey! 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 Oh. Hey! Ah. Ah. Go on out! No, don't come this way! Hey. Uh. Oh. Got him! What? Uh, I was just, uh, can I, check fil can I take your order? How did Bailey get away? Wait, the cops you just- You are under arrest! You're not even real cops, you literally are terrorizing the city. You're cops. You're real cops, Carter. No, are you kidding me? Get in there. Shoot, how'd you get caught? I was at Chick-fil-A like you. The town is still completely intact. We didn't ruin a single thing. And we got not one, but count them two criminals in the Lego city. We're basically superheroes. I know. I can't believe they pushed the clock tower over, but Bailey did get away, surprisingly. Yeah. And then they ended up catching me, and I got arrested, and when you get arrested in the T-Bar prison, you get eliminated, too. So, guys, I'm out. I'm not winning the $10,000, which means only Bailey and Liz are left. Like a beverage? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Actually, yes. All right, guys. Well, Stove and I are in jail, and we're probably gonna be in here till at least the end of the challenge, if not longer. Yeah. What was that noise? Um, we got a delivery. We got some food for you boys. You must be starving. What the? This is called first class. Pizza and give you this donut. No way, Stove. Yo, yo, prison is the best. I hate it. What is that noise? Yo, is there a storm? There's only two people left in the challenge right now, and that would be Liz and Bailey? Bailey. Hey, y'all got donuts or something? Yeah, but dude, you gotta get arrested if you want yeah. this treatment. For the boys. Yeah! The boys. What's going on in there, boys? Wait, hang on a second. Liz just won $10,000. Wait, Bailey's in the tumor prison! Yeah, he voluntarily arrested himself. Carter, that means I won the challenge! Oh my gosh, we did it! We won! Girls, boys! All right, prisoners line up. Is everyone accounting for? You line up. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. All right, each and one of you guys will be going into the underwater prison. No! No! no. 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 Not the underwater prison. Oh, a thousand percent. It's right more? behind you. Do you see that thing? Oh, oh, what? What? Where did that come from? Why not the dry prison? Yo, 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 this is crazy. All right, look. The cops are going to lock us up into the underwater prison where it is freezing cold. But if we can escape, then we can win our freedom. And whoever can escape the fastest can win $10,000. And also, the best part is, once you escape, you can go in a nice warm hot tub right here. Each inmate will be going one at a time into the underwater prison. We'll be timing how fast. Out. What happens if we don't escape? Well, I mean, you'll be staying in the underwater prison forever. Oh, oh, you said the word hot twice. Is that against the law? Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Officer Josh, come over here real quick. It's Officer Horton, but continue. Who should we uh, throw in first? I I'll think we'll, uh, uh, I've got, I've, I've got your Someone, Someone's being sassy to you. I, I think so, so yeah. So we know who it is, but okay, I'm, I'm gonna make them sweat a little bit. Okay, okay, then I'll let you do the honors. First step! Oh my gosh. Ah. Someone who's been giving us a little lip. For sure, isn't it? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play games. Inmate. <laughs> I knew it's right. <laughs> Bailey Payne. Oh! Oh! Bailey Payne is first up in the underwater prison. Let's see how fast he can escape. And if he can't, he will be locked in there forever. <laughs> Bailey is in the prison up first, guys. We are going to be proving the cops wrong. I stole the camera so I can host some of this video for you guys. But the cops are going to be locking us in, in here one at a time. <laughs> Bailey is up first, so I'm rooting for him that he can find the keys, unlock the box, get the big key, and unlock the door. Once he swims out, all he's got to do is pop the balloon for the time, and then he's good to go to sit in the nice warm hot tub because this pool is absolutely freezing. All right, Bailey, you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, can I hurry up? It's so cold in here, I can't stand it. All right, Bailey, are you ready? Yeah. All right, in three, two, one, go, go! And Bailey, oh, his ball and chain fell off, it just floating there. He's going for the keys underwater as we speak right now. Come on! So to escape this prison, it's actually a two-part series, and step one is to unlock the lockbox right here. Once you get that unlocked by finding the keys, you can then take the big key over to the door to get out. He is holding his breath. Is it freezing? I think it's freezing cold. And we got cops everywhere just patrolling. How's it feeling there, Yes, <laughs> He got it open. He's got the big key. All right, he's swimming to the door. Matt, let's get the door shut. He just passed one minute. One minute so far. Bailey is down there trying the best that he can, guys. 
<laughs> this is one of those hard challenges that we set up today because Slow escaping down. a prison is Slow no down. easy feat. So work your way around the corner. I'm, I'm on my way. I have about too many donuts. <laughs> Bailey's going for it. You can't get out. Come on, Bailey, you got it. Get out of there. Get in the hot tub. Not looking Bring good for line. inmate Bailey. Not looking good. Inmate Bailey is That's struggling. Where you oh, he got it. He got it. He got, he got it. it. Oh, he's and out. the door swung open. And he's going for a breath. All right, grab the popper. Go, 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 go. He's swimming as fast as he can. Not very fast, though. He's, he's got it. All right, grab that. He's going to come back and pop the balloon. Get ready for the time. Ready. Here we go. And... Oh, it's a miss! It's a miss! It's a miss. Oh, yeah, pop. Time. Time. Two minutes, 16 seconds for inmate Bailey! He escaped the underwater prison! Woo! How'd you do? <laughs> that was a struggle. I'm winded. You escaped the underwater prison. You were the first one to go in there and escape. <laughs> you know, I took the bold courage to go first. You know, it was worth it. Solid two minutes. Pretty fast, I don't think. Anyone's really gonna top that. Inmate Bailey Payne's last duty is to reset the prison and we're getting ready for our next competitor slash inmate. They gotta try to beat two minutes and 16 seconds. Inmate Caleb, you're next. Any last words? Yeah, I, I saw, saw how you had your last meal. I saw how you... I actually didn't get a last meal. I got an appetizer. You just, you know, that was four cheeseburgers. An appetizer. All right, boom. <laughs> I saw the way you pushed Bailey and I don't like it. I'll go in on my own accord, sir. I don't think so. I, th I think so. Get him. Oh. Get him! Oh. I'm not. <laughs> Stove, what are you Get doing? Get back here! Oh! oh. Officer Stove, count him down! Question! Wait! Do no question! A, do you have that dye that turns the water bluer if I pee? No peeing in the prison! Just asking. It adds five minutes to your time. <laughs> so count him down. Three, two, one, go! go. And he's, he's off. off, guys. Caleb is now going on in the underwater prison. We're gonna see how fast he can escape. I'm watching closely and learning each time because I want to win so I can win the $10,000 because uh, I'm kind of in desperate need of uh, a cash prize payout these days. He fixed his hair. Uh, I'll explain why later, but here goes. He is. He got it. Oh, that was way fast. Oh, that was very fast. He got it on the first try. Matt, you can't even keep up. His head is sticking through. Oh my gosh, this might be a record. How's he doing on time? Uh, He's at 40 oh. seconds. Bailey was at about a minute at this time. So 20 seconds ahead, wow. but he is struggling with that big lock down there. This lock on the door is not easy. Did he drop his key? Oh, oh it's through. open he's and through. it swung open. Oh, he is going for it. Oh, oh. he's flashing oh. like crazy. All right, so the last step is to grab the poker and pop the balloon. All right, here we go. First try and pop time. One minute. Four seconds, a new prison record. 104? Wow. One minute, four seconds. What? Yo, Caleb was so fast with that. I am absolutely shook. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm a magician. Picking handcuffs, picking locks, it's what I do. Not that's how you got busted. Yeah, that's true. that's true. He's in here for picking locks and getting into mischief. And it'll help me get out. Inmate Carter, you ready to be locked up? Uh, no. Uh, you're never gonna lock up. which I can't wait for because it's freezing in here. Did he really think he was going to escape going up there? Come on now, Carter. I thought you were smarter than that. You're never taking me alive! Woo! Okay, fine. You know what? I can't fit through, so uh, let's do this thing. All right, in three, two, one, go again! Oh, there he goes. Looking for the keys. Right, he's going for the furthest one right now. Too slow. Too slow. 10 seconds in. 10 seconds, 10 seconds in. in. Oh, he's collecting all of them. It's I see his tactic keys. right now. He's learning from his competitor oh, inmate. The box. Oh, let's see. Oh. Hey, no. Oh, he's, he's in. He's got, he's got it. He's got it. Can he open the box? Wow. Oh, he's got oh, the key. Got he's got the key. Inmates have been struggling with this big door. Let's see how Carter takes it. He's at 40 seconds, about the same time Caleb was at this at this point. Oh, oh got it. You got it. Oh. Yeah. oh. Things looking good. For Carter, it. it's gonna be very, so very close. close. Wow, very close. Hurry up! Very close. Oh my god. Oh my god, hurry! Oh, oh 
time. Caleb's time was one minute, four seconds. Carter's time, one minute on the dot. Carter takes the lead, is in first place for his $10,000 and freedom. Whew, it feels good to be in the hot tub, guys. I'm this close to $10,000 with a record time of one minute. There's only one more inmate to compete, but I heard that he's like insane. He's, he's dig a magician baseball, or something. Baseball, right? Playing some baseball? Ooh. Yo, what the heck? Coach Stevens, you guys are playing today, right? Why are you? What the Stevens? Coach Stevens. Uh, officer, come here. Off whoa, whoa, who is this new person? Yo, officer, we're playing some baseball today, recreation time. Yeah, on uh, the yard, right? In the yard, yeah. Yep. In the yard, what's your name, sir? Sorry, what? Baseball. What's your name? I'm a little hard of hearing because my whistle blinds me uh, auditorily. What is your name? Right, uh, Coach Stevens. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's your name? Coach Stevens, son. Say it clearly. Coach Steven. Okay. So why are you here? I'm here to play baseball with the boys in the yard. You guys hired me. I get paid by the hour, so I don't care how long this takes. I don't recall hiring anyone, but let I'm me a see baseball. Your form. Let me see your form, then. Let me see how good you are. Hold this. Have you? Oh, that's pretty good, actually. You should. You want to be on the team? I'm already. I am the team. You are the team. All right. I guess we're playing inmates versus officers. So two back. What you do? Two hands. Don't forget it. One on the bottom. One on the top. Wiggle it around. Back elbow up. Pop the butt, and then sit into it. Back elbow up. Swing, 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 and then step. Hit the ball. I don't know. Hey, his form is looking a little off. Have you ever swung a baseball bat in your life? Who has the ball right now? You do. Okay. That doesn't have anything to do with swinging a baseball bat. I don't really understand your logic. <laughs> doesn't seem why. right. Guys, that's totally right. Without a doubt. What do you think, Officer Orton? Officer Stove, I don't trust this guy. Why? This, look this, at that mustache. It doesn't look it real, right? It, looks it, it is. What do you mean? I've been it, growing this for years. If it's fake, it'll pull right off. There you go. Oh. It's real, I'm telling you, wow. Is it actually real? Yeah, you came in here and messed up my muscle. I came here to do you a service. I'm sorry. Yo, wait, is that Ryan right there? I'm sorry. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. The dude with the muscle. If that's Ryan right there, then he's the coach guy. I thought that was um, so confusing. So What's happening? Wow, I, I, I guess it's a real coach. I didn't know we hired a new coach for uh, rec time, but. You know what I'm saying to you? Calm down. Chill. Calm down. Oh, hey. calm down, calm down. No. Oh my gosh, yo, he is insane. He is our most dangerous inmate of everyone we've got in our in our prison so far. I don't... Are you are you okay? He was arrested for breaking locks, for getting into all sorts of <sighs> he, he practices magic and witchcraft. Honestly, I don't know. Using it for evil. Should we even let him try this? Because I feel like he might just disappear. Here. He might disappear. His I... magic is crazy. I don't know. Oh my god! Whoa! No, 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 it, no, I almost had it! Let me go! No! No! Last but not least, we have the most insane, the craziest inmate we've ever seen. This guy. Oh, look, look at him. I can't even call inmate number 62. He doesn't have a name. Oh my gosh. I can't. Like, I was starting right now. I, I can't even look at him right now. Time to beat. 60 seconds. Your time begins in three, two, one. Go! Oh, he's getting the keys. He has the keys? He has all already? He just I grabbed one. He only got one right now. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got a couple. He's got a couple in there. Already on. Oh. He had it. He's got it. It was his third key. The 30 seconds. Seems like he's got a little bit of an edge on our past competitors. I guess that craziness is helping. Uh oh. Looks like he's struggling. I think he's stuck. Oh no, the door is giving a problem. He's through. Oh, he's through. It's gonna be close. It is really close. <laughs> Hurry it up. It's all about the food. Oh, a lot of waste of time. Oh. What is this time? The time to beat was one minute flat by inmate Carter. Inmate 61, aka Wolfellow's final time was one minute, 14 seconds. Oh. oh didn't we have one more inmate? Are we missing someone? Ryan. Ryan. Inmate, inmate Ryan. Ryan. Hmm. What? I didn't, what? I guess he's just gonna miss out on $10,000. I guess. And well, a chance we, of freedom. I hope we don't lose our jobs. That's true. I wish I could look Probably go find him. Yeah, let's go, come on. 
As promised, with the fastest escape of 60 seconds, guys, I win the $10,000 with the brand new Team Rar Money Gun. These things are incredible. I love the chrome. We got the green, Ooh. we got the pink, and the blue. And mine is preloaded with $10,000 oh. cash. So, officer, don't arrest me for uh, littering, but here we go, $10,000. You can run if I can keep this 10,000 though. I can retire off this. What's up Team Rar? We are here in the Florida Keys and we have a crazy video. We have an awesome boat and the entire ocean and we're gonna be doing the last one to leave this boat or fall into the ocean will win $10,000. Let's meet the contestants. Up first we got... Lizzie! Woohoo! And up next we got... Denise! And of course we got... Andrew! Woo! And today, in the first time in all of Team Rar history, we're letting Elena compete in today's challenge. Are you excited? Guys, I'm so excited. I think with my beginner's luck, I'm totally gonna win this thing. Let's go, come on, let's go! <laughs> okay, well, all right, let's keep going. And of course, I'm gonna be competing in today's challenge, and also, Matt, behind the camera, What's up guys? So guys, comment down below right now. Do you think Elena's gonna win? It's her first time, beginner's luck. Will she win $10,000? Let's find out and hop on the boat. All right guys, what are we waiting for? The boat is amazing. And honestly guys, the first challenge is just to get on the boat without falling off. Liz, you're up first. You gotta walk this little skinny sky bridge. Walk the plank. There's literally walk a sky the bridge. Plank. Walk, walk the plank. plank, let's go. All right, you did it. Easy. All right, Andrew, you're up next. Oh jeez. Okay. Walk the plank, here we go. Oh, don't push. Hey, you can't cheat. <laughs> okay, Elena. I won't cheat. I won't cheat. There's rules. All right, Denise, you're next. This is the hardest challenge. It's a little crazy. I've never been. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 watch out. Denise, if you fall in the water now, you are out because the challenge has already begun, but you have to get on the boat first. So let's see. Nice and easy. Not so bad. It is like a few feet above the ground, though. This is like literally a sky bridge. All right, guys, I'm going next. This is actually kind of scary. Whoa. All right, Elena, this is your first challenge. I'm Don't coming. get eliminated Whoa. yet. Whoa. It's a little windy. Nice and easy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I barely made it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Matt. Let's go. Come on. The All boat's right, starting up. So high up. Yeah, I don't know why. The boat is so high out of the water. This is scary. All right, guys. Well, we're on the boat, and this boat is insane. All right, guys. We are lowering the boat into the water. Check this out. We are going really, really slow. Does this go any faster? Nope. Yeah, so we'll be setting sail tomorrow. Eventually. We are officially pulling away from the dock to go out into the middle of the ocean. Ooh. And uh, if you fall off the boat, you lose. Are you gonna fall off? Hey, don't even think about it, Matt. I might have to push someone off. Elena, that would be against the rules. I don't know the rules. I've never played before. And we are off, traveling two miles off the coast of Florida to an abandoned lighthouse with shark-infested water. Buy solid ground. This is the last time we're going to see solid land for quite some time. We're going out to the middle of the ocean. Oh, Woo! my God. Carter, it doesn't look so good out there. Uh-oh, guys. A storm's a brewing. Carter, where are we going? We might get caught in heavy seas. We'll have to just see. I don't know. We're literally going out like two miles off the coast and nowhere. I swear if there's sharks again, I'm pushing you in. First location, the lighthouse is right over there. What do you guys think? Carter, Carter, come look. You can see the fish. There's striped fish, there's big fish, there's oh small fish. Gosh. I've never seen water this blue in this place. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a little rocky today. So everyone's gonna... Oh, there's Woo! yellow fish right there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Look. Are there any sharks in the water? Do you see any yet? Uh, I haven't seen one yet, but they're probably down there. Yeah, apparently there's sharks in here. Denise, will you take an instant photo of me? Yeah, let's go. I'm just gonna pose like on the side. Okay. As a... Yeah, that's cute. What do you think? We're in stuff? Yeah, it looks yeah. good. This is careful. So cute. Yeah. Oh, here comes a wave. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Elena, are you okay? No, Where'd you go? No. Elena, you fell in the water. Oh, no. Did I lose already? No, no. Elena, get out of the water. Go into the back of the boat. Denise, how did she fall in? Don't look at me. What the heck? How did she get out already? Seriously? That's one of the earliest eliminations we've ever had. Wait, this is to help her out. She's got to get out of the water. This water is deadly. Oh my gosh, there's sharks down there, guys. There's definitely sharks. Okay, I'm back on. Did I just get eliminated? Yeah, Elena. This unfortunately, early? you're out. This is the first time you ever did a video. No! You're out. Wait, that's way too early. Do I get a second chance? No, that's not how these work. Guys, she's officially eliminated and the first one out. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I got out so early on my first challenge, but I'm so happy to be out here in Florida. And look, I even got a great Instagram photo out of it. How cool is that? We've been out here on the boat for about one hour and we already have our first elimination and that is Elena. Sorry, Elena. 
It's okay guys, next time. I'll get you next time. But we're moving on to the first challenge and this first challenge actually allows us to go into the water. The challenge is everyone has to jump into the shark infested water, but everyone has to be back on the boat in five minutes and not a second longer. If you guys come back to the boat too late, you will be eliminated. And if you're too scared to jump in the water, then you also will be eliminated. Does everyone understand the rules? So I have to jump in the shark water, Carter? Yeah, so everyone has to jump in and you can swim around as much as you can, but you have to be back on the boat in five minutes exactly and not one second longer. Woo! All right, guys, let's get this challenge started. Let's put five minutes on the timer right now. You have to be back in exactly five minutes, not a second later, and you have to go in the water for at least a second. So, Angie, you ready for this? I'm ready. Not yeah. scared of anything. Boys aren't scared. Yeah, the boys aren't scared of anything. Here we go. Into the water. Three, two, one. Start that timer. Woo! <laughs> While I'm swimming around down here, we are launching two new plushies. We got the Timur Scuba Diver and the Arctic Explorer. You guys love these things and they sell out super fast. So go check them out on Timur.com. Uh, I don't know about this. This doesn't even make sense. I know, Carter really? literally said it was the last leave the boat challenge, but why are we jumping in the water? Liz, it's the challenge. You have to go all the way in the water, let go of the boat before you can get back on. Otherwise, you're going to be eliminated. Matt, there's literally things swimming in there. You want me to go in there? Yeah, go in there. They want to say hi, Denise. Guys, we're in the water. So, oh, I touched the fish. I touched the fish. <laughs> Andrew and I completed the challenge. We just have to make sure that we're back on the boat before the timer ends. But it's really nice out here. We're gonna explore. But the girls aren't even in the water yet, so they might lose if they're too scared to jump in the water, guys. Liz, that does not count. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Does that count? Uh, if she fell in, yeah. Liz, you have to let go of the boat. But okay, you have to be okay. in the water. Okay. okay. This is the only time you can get off the boat. I don't want it. There's fish on my feet. Like ah, I got wet. I got wet. Like nibbling okay. my toes. You guys are gonna be out. Matt, you have to go in. Rules. It doesn't make the, sense. The the rule makers. It literally says don't get wet. Don't get fall in the water. Like Elena fell in the water. So did this, she back in the challenge? No, she's not. Because this was yeah. a different challenge. Hey guys, I'm gonna pull a prank. They're still not in the water. I'm gonna pretend to be some kind of shark. <laughs> Okay, you gotta let go of the boat. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Denise. I did. You did At not. At the same time, you were just ahead. I yeah. literally watched. Denise, I'm filming. Matt, you blinked. Denise, Matt, you I did blinked. not blink. I literally watched oh, the whole thing. <laughs> That's not even funny. Oh, oh. Yeah, no. ah! You gotta let go of the boat. You gotta let go of the boat. I did. Oh my gosh, look at all the fish right by you. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn to get in. I'm gonna hand the camera over. Matt, you only have like one minute. Yeah, Matt! Time is ticking! I'm going! <laughs> and he's in. Bye, Matt! And we never saw him again. All right, start the boat! We're out of here! Bye, guys! We're leaving you! Bye! Liz, there's no way you're leaving us in the middle of the ocean. Come on! You only have a few seconds to get back on the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I so I think I gotta get back on the boat soon because I do not want to get eliminated. So I gotta make it back. Okay, I'm definitely still in. Okay, guys, I gotta find Carter and Andrew. Like, they're gonna get out. Carter! What? You're gonna get out of the challenge. What are you doing? Wait, how much time do I have left? You have like 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Literally. Oh my god. You gotta like, climb up the front, man. Carter, you what are you gonna to the back? I guess. I don't know. Guys, Matt, pull literally, me up. I'm not I gonna make it. Is there a handle right here? <laughs> there's no, there's right here. Hey guys, Carter's like literally gotta get on the boat right now or he's gonna get out. <laughs> Carter, you have like 10 seconds. No, I'm, in. I'm in. I'm in. Nine. I did. Andrew's Andrew. still out there. Where is he? Eight. Andrew, get seven, back on the boat. Oh my Andrew. gosh, guys, he doesn't hear us. No. Where's he going back down to the no. bottom? Wait, what? Andrew, hurry! Andrew, Andrew, only a few seconds left! Andrew, come on! Andrew, I can't get up! Ah, grab my hand! Oh, oh my gosh! Ah. Andrew, hurry! Andrew, 
Oh, oh, no. Guys, he ran out of time. Wow. Andrew, you're still in the water. Oh, man. Just, I didn't make it. Oh, my gosh, guys. Andrew literally missed the boat by, like, just seconds. He is still in the water. Andrew, you got to get up on board anyway, so you better oh. hop up. Oh, man, guys. I was having so much fun down there swimming with all the fish. I saw the biggest fish on the bottom. Uh, but I guess I missed the timer. Looks like I'm eliminated. Oh, well. I love being eliminated, guys. Look at this. I'm working on my tan. I'm lounging on a boat in the Florida Keys with Team Rar. What more would you want? The first challenge was awesome, guys. We got to swim in water and see a ton of amazing fish, and we still have a few people in. Liz is still in the challenge. Woo! Denise is still in the challenge. Yeah. Matt's still Let's in. Go. And of course, guys, I'm still in, but I barely made it. I was like racing the clock on that timer. Hi, guys, it's Lizzie here, and I think Matt's gonna be the next to get eliminated because he's probably gonna get sunburned. Hey, it's Matt, and I think Denise is gonna get eliminated because she barely wanted to do the last challenge, so I don't know how she's gonna get through everything today. Hey, it's Denise, and I think Carter's gonna be the next one to get eliminated. Carter here, and I think Liz is gonna be the next to get eliminated. Oh, oh just kidding. Oh, oh, just kidding. Oh, okay, we gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get too wet. <laughs> we are all set here at the lighthouse, guys, and we're moving on to location number two, which is a beach on a private island, and we're taking off. Here we go. Woohoo! We finally made it to the next location. We are here with a deserted island behind us. Denise, come with me. I have a plan. Uh, what do you mean you have a plan? Excuse me. Okay. okay. Liz, we have another challenge coming soon. What do you mean you have a plan? See you, Carter. What are you guys doing? I have no idea. What does she like to know? Here, take this. Whatever. It's going to be dumb anyways. Take this. We are going to explore the abandoned beach because this is our very own girls boat that I brought by myself. Carter didn't specify which boat we had to leave, so technically we could be on any boat, AKA the girls boat. Check this out, Denise. Look at this boat. It's a log boat made out of wood. High quality timber. All right, here we go. We're pumping this thing up and uh, getting off this boat. We've been on the boat for about four hours now. We have two eliminations. Andrew is out and Elena are out. So there's only four of us left, me, Matt, Liz, and Denise. And we're getting ready for the next challenge, which is gonna be amazing. But until then, we're just gonna like chill out in the sun. Yeah. Carter, what are the girls doing back there? I honestly have no idea what they're doing, but if they fall in the water and leave the boat, they're gonna just be eliminated. So I'm gonna let them do whatever they do and see what happens. Denise didn't even wanna to touch the water earlier. Yeah. She it, she's gonna freak <laughs> that out. That was shark infested water back there. Good thing we actually didn't see any sharks. But as you guys know, these waters literally are full of sharks. Look how many sharks there are, guys. What? Uh, I don't like that. Whoa, Liz, what the heck is this thing? All right, Denise, let's put it in the water. What do you mean? Where did you get this boat? Wait, Liz, I'm so confused. Where did you, ha when did you Carter, like, think to bring this? Boat. You're getting off this boat? Wait, Liz, if you wait. fall in the water, you're gonna lose the challenge. Carter, we have a boat. Why would we fall in the water when we have our very own boat? So you're trying to go from this boat to that boat? Yeah, we're gonna go to the island. We're gonna go to the beach and tan. You're going to the island, Liz. Okay, I mean, I guess as long as you don't fall off this boat and get wet, then I guess you're technically still on a boat. I didn't really think about that. Liz, what are you guys doing? There's no way this is gonna work. Carter. It's a little boat. This is a huge ocean, Liz. Like, you're not supposed to be out here in a little boat. Nice. Oh my gosh, wait, it actually kind of floats. I don't think it's gonna hold two people, Liz. This is dumb. Oh my <laughs> gosh. What the heck? Hey, What's your plan now? Bye, Carter. What do you mean, bye? What's your plan? Where are you going? We're going to the beach. We're gonna explore. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Carter, they're gonna sink. Look at their boat. It's yeah. Gonna pop. Well, if they, so many rocks. It's good if they sink. If they sink, they lose. Oh my gosh, this looks like a disaster. Okay. Their flag is like deflating. I think there's a hole in that raft, guys. You guys are going in circles. Carter, you're just yelling. Yeah, at least we're going somewhere. All right, lead us to safety, Captain. Oh my gosh, they are literally so ridiculous right now. I think if anything, they're gonna get to shore and they're gonna hit a rock and that boat is gonna pop and they're gonna get stranded out there and they're gonna have to swim back out. Guys, look at them. They're just trying to figure out how to make it on, but it's a really rocky beach. They're just way out there, just trying to navigate. I see land! I see land! We made it! Liz, we're stuck. What do you mean, now what? You're the one who said you had a plan! What? We should leave. We should leave. We should leave them. Maybe we just like drive there. away? Yeah, we, yeah, we should. Away. Hey, can you drive the boat away? Let's just leave them. Nah, that's a genius idea. Bye, Liz! Bye! Hey, Carter! You can't leave us! Come on, we gotta go! Guys, we're literally just gonna go drive away. The ocean is huge. They're never gonna find us. If they don't make it to the beach, they're gonna be stuck there for a long time. Oh my gosh! Hey! Come back! 
bright idea, Liz. Okay, we'll catch up. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> With what? Okay, guys, we were lost at sea. We're past the way. Into the thick of it. Oh, what are we gonna do if we get thirsty? Yo, they are drifting way far out. So Chris, this boat isn't just a regular boat. This is like a wake boat, right? It's a wake surf boat. A wake surf, so that means what? It makes a huge a wake? wake. Massive wake. Okay, so if they drift far enough out past like the no wake zone, we can drive and do a huge wave next to them and see if we can flip them over. Uh, we can try. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Are they almost good enough right there? Oh, I think so. All right, Ready? guys, we're gonna kick this thing into high gear. This thing puts out a massive like surfing wave. If we drive right by the girls in their tiny, little teeny, tiny boat, that surfing wave is gonna be huge and it hopefully will flip them, knocking them into the water, causing two eliminations. Let's see if it works. Oh. Here we go, guys, this is it. We got the wake boat going. Oh, look at the size of that wake. It's huge. Oh, and they are th right there, guys. Oh no, they have no idea what's coming. I feel so bad. Liz, you better move. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, the size of this wave is so big. Here we go. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was huge. Chris, I think we might need to hit him again. It's literally like tsunamis out here. This is insane. This is how the boys win, guys. Those girls in their little tiny boat is not gonna handle the size of this huge wave. Hang on. Oh my God, Chris, stop! 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 Oh! Denise fell off. Oh my gosh, Denise. It looks like a storm out there, guys. Those are like six foot waves. Denise is literally out. I can't believe Liz even stayed on the boat. Ah, save me, Liz! Get me out of here! My oh my gosh, Denise, you fell off. What do you mean? You pushed me off! I didn't touch you. What do you mean? I'm right here. Liz, how did you not fall off? Why are you scared of sharks? Then get back on the boat. This is shark water. Ah! Wait, Denise, there's a shark. Go, 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 go. Get on. Get on the boat, quick. Liz, that was fun? Yeah. I thought you guys would be scared out there. Oh, poor Denise is like got boogers rolling down her face. I got boogers? No, I'm just kidding. Denise, I kind of feel bad, but you're eliminated. What? Sorry. I made it this far on this boat to be eliminated? Yep. Wow, guys, this video has been insane. We've been on the boat and on the water literally all day. The sun is starting to get low, but the challenge is not over yet because there are still three people left. We got Matt, Liz, and myself. Liz, why are you sticking your tongue out? Liz, we are, win. you don't know that. We're moving on to the next challenge, and this next challenge takes a ton of skill, and we have an expert to show us how it's done. Check this out. This next challenge involves wake surfing, so I have my friend Hunter here, who is one of the best wake surfers in the entire world, and even holds two Guinness World Records just for wake surfing. So Hunter, are you gonna show us what wake surfing is and how to do it? Yes, sir, we're about to hop out here, do a quick ride, and show you how it goes. All right, guys, Hunter's gonna give us a demonstration, and the tricky part about this is we're not just learning how to wake surf, from one of the best in the world, but we had to do it without falling in the water because we're still on this challenge. Ooh, maybe, so maybe. He's about to show us. So what's the first step, Hunter? Just go ahead and start off the back of the boat like this. Throw the board down. It's like wait, underwater. Wait for the wave to form up. He's gonna definitely fall in. How would you not fall in? Oh my gosh, here he goes. No way! Oh, he's not, he's riding the wave. What the heck? Whoa! Oh my god! surfed a wave and you came back on the boat, you didn't even get wet. You didn't even fall in. What a the little heck? wet. A little wet, but you didn't fall, so that's <laughs> incredible. So that's our next challenge. We all have to do that. Carter, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. That's like the craziest thing. He was doing like flips and tricks and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't even know what that's called. Carter, he's literally the one of the best in the world. I'm not even like the best in town at 
week surfing. How are we supposed to do this? Yeah, but Liz, remember, this challenge might be hard, but there's literally $10,000 cash on the line, so if you can just do exactly what Hunter did and come back, you might win this thing. And uh, I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can do that. <laughs> All right, Matt, uh, so I'm gonna be first to try this challenge. Hunter is obviously very talented, so he made it look so easy. What's like that? riding a skateboard. This is not a skateboard, there's no it's wheels. It's a water man. skateboard, Carter. I think we're all gonna fail this challenge and lose. It'll be like a, well, with that uh, attitude. it'll be a first on the, on the channel if that happens. Okay. Right, you gotta wait for the wave. Matt, I don't oh know about God. this. Am I good to go? What? Yeah. Oh. I'm coming back. Oh. Oh. I missed it with my hand by like just a few inches, but I literally fell in the ocean and I am eliminated, guys, no! Okay, it's my turn and there's $10,000 online, so I'm gonna give it a try. Plus, I think I'm better than Carter anyways. Did you see him fall? That was so lame. Liz is suiting up right now. You seriously think you got this? I don't know, Liz. It's seriously not easy to do. I still kind of surprised myself. I thought I almost had it and all of us won that $10,000, but I literally done and eliminated. All right, Liz, you're up. Okay. Coach. Liz, you're ready? I think so. You're seriously gonna try this right now? I don't even right know now? what I'm doing right now. Like, this how, is, what the heck is this? That's what I'm what saying. Doing right now? This is seriously the most challenging challenge we have ever had, and we literally have a Guinness World Record and like world champion that is like helping us design this oh. trick. So, if we knew it was gonna be hard. Yeah, let's just hit it. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, you should be. Here we go. Hang on, Lizzie. Get ready. Okay. Uh, okay, I think you're ready. Are you trying? Yeah, go! You got it! Go, 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 go! Back, back, back! Oh my gosh! I actually thought she had it for a second, but she just fell in the ocean and she is eliminated! So Matt, you actually won. I won? Well, no, I guess not really, but you are the last one. But if we all lose this challenge, I guess we have to go to a tiebreaker then. Ah! Uh, I gotta pull this one off, I guess. Liz, you are officially eliminated. Woohoo! That's not a good thing, you're out. Carter, you're out. Yeah, I am out. And Matt is literally the last one, so if Matt also gets out, we're gonna need to do a tiebreaker elimination for this challenge, which has never happened ever in the history of my channel, which is so crazy. All right, Matt, if you can pull this off, that's 10 grand in your pocket. All right, let's do it. Matt, have you ever done this? I've never ever in my life on this. I mean, Matt, you saw all of us do it, guys. I don't believe he's gonna do it, but if you wanna give Matt some good luck to see if he can do like a crazy win on this challenge and just take home the W, then hit that like button and subscribe right now, which will give Matt good luck. Here goes nothing, Matt. Hang on. Just lean back on your back foot. Put a lot of weight on your back foot. More on your back foot. Lean back, lean back, lean back. Lean back. Oh, he almost actually had it. Guys, I thought he almost had it. Carter, that was really close. Unfortunately, guys, Matt is eliminated. Which means all three of us are eliminated on the same challenge, which means we need to move on to the tiebreaker. And this is our tiebreaker. We are in this little donut tube, ah, and the last one to fall yeah. off this tube will be the winner of today's challenge. And the 10,000 dollars. No, no, no pushing. It doesn't count, but we are tied to the boat, oh, and the crazy. boat is going to start pulling us, and if we fall off, you lose. I have to hang on with one hand, guys. Oh, my God. Oh my! Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Okay, just fall off. Just quit. Guys, there's Liz. Oh, you quit. Liz, you're basically in the water. Yeah, this is dead. I'm chilling. I'm straddling. This is way sketchier than I thought. Nathan's new island house on the jet boat. He's out jet skiing. We're gonna take the jet boat out and go meet up with him. It's an absolute dream to have this boat out here in Key West, Florida, and we're about to rip. The sun is shining, and I heard a very familiar noise out on the dock. And Liz is already there. Jet surf man is back. All right. Liz, you're already zipped up. You didn't even ask if you're allowed to use one. Yeah, so, uh, silver one's good. That was the best one last time. You even remember how to use one of these? Yeah. 
<laughs> see if she can get it. She's ridden one before, so we'll see if she can get it. Here she goes, guys. First try. Let's see if she can do it. <laughs> Whoa! It's rocky out there. Liz is getting it! And there's Nathan! Liz, turn around, don't go too far. So one problem of boating out here in Key West is it's really shallow and there's seaweed. So luckily we got a stomp grate, so Matt stomps it, we should be good. And over there, that's Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. We made it. There goes Nathan. Zubin. Oh, James. Jeez. Look at that sunset. <laughs> that sunset is amazing. What do you have there? Watermelon. So you caught a shark? Like, she caught a shark, yeah. Crazy. In the spring. Baby shark! Wait, that, that looks just like the one I caught. That's the baby shark that you caught, Liz? So. It's the shark! Shark infested water. Catch it again. No, 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 I can't. No, no, no. Look at it. Look at that thing. Oh, he's. Stop, oh, I can't. Oh, I? no. I shouldn't. Well, you can't. I can. You think you'd it. catch him? Yeah, I just Look don't at want this. to because it's hard to get the thing out. That's a cool shark. We'll just enjoy yeah. it then. Look at him getting all cozy in there. That's crazy. Whoa, oh, he's gone. that's cool. Don't catch him. I was going to dive in there, bro. Don't do it. 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 Oh, 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 Catch it! We've been waiting for this moment. Okay, catch it, catch it, back. catch it. I'll catch it. Okay, fine. Give it to me. Give it to me. Here, I'll, I'll You're gonna catch the shark. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch it. Oh my god. Give it to me. She's gonna get the hook out though. Oh man, it's going in. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other side. Oh, quick, give it to him. Get it, Nathan. Get it. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's, he's honing. He's honing. Oh, too far. You gotta tease it like a dog. Oh, come on. I think it was never meant to be. So anyways, there's that shark. He needed to catch the big shark. There was a bigger by. one. All right, so while Carter and Liz are on the island house, it's time to put the jet boat in. We're gonna try with the limo. Let's see. All right, so this is actually the first time we're putting the jet boat in the ocean, and we're doing it with the limo, which is a little bit scary because we're afraid of how low it is versus this ramp back here. It's gonna be a little scary, but hey, let's give it a shot. We're doing it. It's working. Take it easy. Slow down. The limo's gonna have to go in the water. Come back like three more feet. And then we should be good. Good, 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 good. Good. Perfect. Bye, Matt. I can't believe we did it. The limo worked perfectly for putting the boat in. This is awesome. I want to catch a barracuda. They have, there's a bear uh, out here, too. There was one underneath his dock. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> Liz, it's a full moon tonight. Like massive. Should we jump in the water? Oh! Jeez! Oh, what was that? You got attacked by something. Oh my. No, that was some other thing. Where's Carter? Carter and Liz are on an island. We're gonna go see them. Hi! Hi! Alright, Ashley's gonna get a picture here of you guys too. Ready? On three. Team Roar. Ready? One. Two, three. Yeah! I guess this is, your, is your first time seeing it. Yeah, is this y'all's house? I think it's the only house. Oh, is it really? Oh my gosh, everyone's moving in. <laughs> this is so yeah. We're gonna go on a tour. On a tour? Here you house go. Tour. Is it a tour? Boop, boop. I don't think <laughs> they want to. Oh. I was like, I don't think they want to see any more of me. Wait, give it back. <laughs> it looks haunted up here. <laughs> Just catch another shark. I could. I just need tackle. Shake. Oh, the water's coming up. Oh, another one of these guys. It's crazy. Whoa, look at this one, Carter. It's huge. Whoa. It's in a different kind of shell. Oh yeah. It's so cute. Look it up. Yeah. I don't want to scare it. Into oh my god. Oh. Whoa. Oh. He's aggressive. He's That's away. a coconut. Ah! He almost pinched me. He almost pinched Jeez. me. There's so many of these things. That one's cool though. I've never that seen them just like around. Crazy. Whoa. Whoa. We could totally catch that and eat it. I feel like we're at the aquarium. Yeah, those you can eat. They got tour. That's why they have the lobster cage over there. <laughs> it's like real life. No, no pinchers either, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. Right, we've seen it all now. Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We had to, you know, eat what we kill. Do you see the crab? Look at the crab. Oh, there's like sea anemones. Yeah. Where are you pointing crab at? Over there, I left. Left. It's moving. Oh, yeah, crab. Oh, yeah. Crab puffs, huh? Oh, snap. That's crazy. Crab cakes. There's literally so much stuff. All right, time to roll. We got the jet boat in. Let's hit the island now. Unspeakable's Island House with the jet boat. It was a rough ride, but it was a lot of fun. Now it's time to go out and have some fun with this thing. We're gonna go check out a couple islands around here. <laughs> Spider. Or weaver. Look at this, guys. Whoa, where does that go, Liz? I don't know, but... This is a no trespassing sign, though. You can't go. Really? Yeah, we yeah. shouldn't. We should turn back. It's haunted. You got spiders all over. Yeah, you're gonna need a stick, Liz. I told you not to go down there. There is so much stuff in here. It's crazy. Here's your, here's your orb weaver. Whoa! Look at this moss. That's crazy. Whoa! There's something glowing in the dark. No, it's moving, bro. I heard something. Keep going. Go, Liz. Keep on. It's okay. Just keep going. You're doing alright. That's a Shrek tree right there. This trail is legit, like just crazy long. Faster. Faster, let's go. Hi, mate. You see here, we got a bunch of little funny fishes. Liz, look at this. Shine on that stuff. These are haunted. These are rude. Oh, look at that. That's the world's biggest moth. Is that not? It looks like a bird. His eyes are glowing red. You're out on the other dock and you caught a fish. Oh my gosh. Finally, after all that time. Let's see it. Fish. Liz, that was our only food. You didn't say that. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll just catch another one. <laughs> catch another shark. <laughs> Let's have some shark fin soup. Shark fin soup. So these are all the uh, people shipping off. There, oh. he's leaving. We voted him off. He's off the island. Now I'm stuck with these two. Oh no. <laughs> If you would have fell in, I would have died. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Why could I hear that from here? <laughs> this thing. The shark is back, Liz. You gotta catch it. Quick, drop it in. Go. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, Liz. <gasps> oh! You almost caught the shark. I honestly don't know if I want to. It'll just uh, cut the line with his teeth. You gotta catch it. Come back, Sharky. He's out there not too far. Oh, that was a good throw, Liz. Oh, here he's right here. He's coming back closer. Pull. Reel it in. Yes. Oh my gosh. You caught a shark right now? Man, he's swimming fast, though. What is that? Is that a crocodile? Stop. No. Do they have those down here? No. Alligator. What? It could be a bull shark, though. No way. They don't, we don't oh, have it. It went under. I need to see what that was. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it's right there. <gasps> oh. It's a shark. Is it? It's a shark. The fin's sticking out. That's a shark? It has to be. Oh, it's the same shark. It's our baby friend. Yeah. He's back. Wait, that's not... Yeah, that's a baby shark. That's no, the same one. even smaller. That one's smaller no, than the one. same thing. one. Is it? Same one. He's hungry. He's like, right, I want to try that bait now. Okay, I'm I can't believe the shark is back. That's so cute. He just wants to hang out. Where is it? Okay, he's gone. Let's go. Aww. That boat is so cool. We got the green underglow blue and this has been the shuttle back and forth to the island the mainland. all right good night guys all right see you man <laughs> truly surviving on the island that's it it's getting colder every night unless i'm getting adjusted <laughs> i can't tell this is the other boat see you guys tomorrow morning sleep like a champion tonight all oh. right see you andrew see you matt yeah, good bye. night have a good night See you, bro. See you, George. They're going to be going all the way back to the mainland down here. We're about to go explore this like abandoned house. Literally like in the middle of the mountains. I don't even know. It's so random. There it is though. Abandoned. Well, I'll certainly hope it is. It looks like there's supposed to be a window there. <laughs> Whoa. All right, guys, we're pulling up to this place. I mean, it's got a, a door, windows, some text right there. It says, if it's here, it's everywhere. If it's not here, it's nowhere. Interesting. 
It's all cinder block built. The whole house. It's got a crazy view. There's like curtains. I mean, it could be like someone in there. It could be. It could be like somebody just, they leave their grandma in there. Whoa. There's like firewood and there's paint, like pots around the pool. You can see there was a fire here at one point. Burnt trees. You can see into the kitchen. It's got an empty swimming pool, which is interesting. I mean, there's car tire marks. So, you know, people have been here recently. Man, I feel like somebody built this by hand. It's just cinder block. It's just cinder block, yeah. It's not even well done. It's like very messy looking. They covered the hot tub with logs. There's a kind of a newish light, light bulb right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's somewhat functional. Yeah. But look at all those traffic cones though, they're all melted. Oh wow. So the traffic cones are all melted around the pool, so... But maybe someone comes to maintain the plants with this hose? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what to think of this place, it's so interesting. But definitely a fire has been through here. So this tree right here is all burnt, but it might have survived. This palm tree is black, but Ooh. survived. Oh, there's actually nice glass on that one side. Can you go take a peek? Does it say a grave? I don't know, this is definitely an interesting place. Oh wow, look how deep the pool goes. That's deep. Is that like an art piece on top, or is that something like melted? I think it's both. <laughs> so I think this is the hot tub that they turn into a burn pit? Or maybe they just covered it up. But imagine this pool with that view like that, guys. That is really nice. Oh, it's definitely abandoned. Well, I mean, abandoned, maybe. but like people come to maintain or do something up here. There's like an old... There's no one lights. here. I don't even see any lights. There's like a toilet outside. This is somebody's bathroom. <laughs> this might be just a fully unpermitted like thing that someone's built over the years. Like a workshop. I mean, I don't know what this place is. There's another hose. There's like a door. I mean, it's all like really interesting. It's pretty cool. There's even some other structure down here. Oh wow, look at this bench, it's all burnt. That bench right there has been completely burnt. Yeah. I'm kind of curious to see if even water will turn on have water pressure. There's a lot of stuff. Bloodborne and Narcissus? What the heck? So Look at this, this is how you get in. You have to go across. This was like a koi pond. I don't know if that door opens. There's other doors that open. That glass door over there? Can you literally walk across that? What is going on with this place? Little knocker. The door. Dude, what is this medieval door? I think this might be a switch right here. There's a switch. Can turn on? Should I try it? Yeah. I didn't see anything. They have some really interesting like pieces here. <laughs> some kind of shop, but then it's burnt in the fire. So this might have been some pretty sick place before it got burnt. Mm -hmm. So maybe it had siding in it and it burned off? Or was, was it always, thinking. but yeah. it burned off that clean then? This just looks like clean cinder, cinder blocks. Oh, oh my gosh, there's like a hatch. Trap door. <laughs> just push it. That's just the rocks. We should do it. Oh, there's nobody here. Let's see if there's an easier way. There is a glass door over there. It's kind of close by a bunch of door. This one? No. Well, oh, maybe. There's a, oh, there's a hook in the inside I can see. Oh, I can reach in. I can probably hook it with my silver line.
Dude, look how it's all welded. Like it's just hand built the whole this whole place. It doesn't want to go. Yeah, I wouldn't force that. But now we have to go in to hook it. Um, so look, this whole thing opens up. This whole place is built by like scrap wood, scrap metal and stuff. Gosh. Yeah, this is melted metal. Look at the bookshelf. You see that? Yeah, what the heck? Whoa, what the heck? I mean, I guess you get burned pretty bad. Jeez. This was some dude's hand built house. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that picture looks like it's out front of the house. Oh, this is burnt. Really burnt. Where'd you go? We're going upstairs. Whoa. Back up, just went upstairs. It seems like someone's been here to try to clean it up. Yeah. Please. This place is sick. Yeah. The ceiling's all scorched though. What is this? I'm sure it didn't used to be this color. It's like a closet. Where's the bathroom? Oh, I guess just the one outside. That's probably your only bathroom. No way. Not me. Oh, dude, he's got more like text all the way up there. What does it even mean? We have art in order not to die of the truth. Wow, dude, this place is so crazy. <laughs> is that a squirrel's skull? Oh, it is. That's a skull. Made of a rat. Make sure we close everything up. Yeah. This is so bizarre. Yeah, be really careful with these floors. <laughs> this probably sucks. This is definitely one of the most bizarre places I have ever seen. Can't imagine what it looked like. So maybe it literally just burnt, but because it's all concrete. Yeah, the structure is fine. Like it didn't do like this was all burnt fire in here. Yeah. And do you, do you really think this is melted? <laughs> do you think this is really melted on the walls, or is that? No, he hung it, but this is melted maybe from the fire. No, that was before the fire. Hey, that's what I think it's melted aluminum. Very just weird stuff. Like, what is this rope hanging? Chandelier? <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah. That seems scary. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Like, there's new stuff that got, has been here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that clue was in the fire. I think some of these lights are going to work, but I don't want to turn anything on in case that starts a fire. It's all pretty normal stuff. I wonder if we can find something with an expiration date. Well, this oh, has yeah. been in the fire. Okay, wait. Best of use by September 7th, 2019. Not that long ago. So like two that years. was after the fire. The fire was in 18 November. Oh, really? Yeah. But the pomegranate juice is covered in ash. I don't think there was another one up here. I mean, this place is sick. This whole wall will open up and hinge. Modern. Floor to ceiling glass. Love that. I'm going to undo this back. Let's see if we can like feed it through the wall. Put the block. Sweet. Put it all back. This place is so cool. I mean, look at that view, guys. What the heck? This is literally his bathroom, though. It's a one bed. Or one bath. Well, yeah. sort of one bed, too. Oh, dude, look at this balcony. <laughs> he just oh welded God. the whole thing and bolted it on. Yeah. 
This is all out of rebar and scrap metal. That is pretty intricate rebar work up there, though. He yeah. bent it and made little spider webs. Yeah, and I, I guarantee you he welded it in his shop right over there. This is his, like, metal working shop, it seems. Dude, I gotta know the history of this house. Oh, here's the shower. Take a shower back here. It's all just, like, outdoor Malibu living. One shower head. Yep. This is so sick. Whoa. What do you think this is? St uh, storage, I guess. Yeah, they cleaned it out. Storage. Your toilet is right here, so when you're sitting, you have views of the ocean. <laughs> the pool is really cool. I gotta say, this pool is very impressive, very deep. I mean, that's like a... 10 foot pool. It's like 10 feet deep. All the traffic cones melted in the fire. It's a hot tub. There's other structures. I don't know if it's worth checking out, but I kind of want to go down here. Wow, the echo. Sounds so cool. All right, so it's six feet deep here. If I go all the way down. Oh my gosh. This is a deep pool. Yeah, it's basically 12 feet. I don't know why it needs to be so deep, but this is a big body of water. I have a feeling though, the pool was empty when the fire was here because they had cones and stuff surrounding it. Yeah, they might have still been building it. So maybe this place was kind of like down before even the fire and then the fire came and took more of it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. It's amazing the glass would survive a fire. Yeah. This would all be cracked and broken. And maybe they came and they just cleaned it. I mean, this looks too clean though to be... There's no way there was siding on here because like how would it have burned off and not left any residue? But this is pretty sick. Yeah, what an odd structure. Just everything about it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But I think he does all of his metal work here. Well, at least he's got his clamps and stuff here. That door is so, like, medieval. The chain's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, dude, look so at this. Thing. This thing is so cool. Yeah, it looks like a snake's head. Or a lizard. Definitely. Yeah. But this isn't new. That couldn't have been through the fire. Yeah, the power meter's on. What is going on with this place? <laughs> the clouds are literally rolling in. I don't know if it's like haunted stuff going on, but I think it looks sick. But this house, guys, it looks haunted. If I have ever seen a haunted house, this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, the chains alone are really creepy, plus all the medieval text on the walls. That's so creepy. Yeah, the chains, <laughs> like that door, this window, sheesh. Well, we're not going to stay a whole lot longer with that place. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going nice and steady. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we're going to be riding away, but guys, look at this. It looks like it's just getting haunted more and more by the second with this fog rolling in. It's like what you would see out of like a graveyard in a movie or something. There it is. The haunted house as we drive away. Literally just abandoned up here in the mountains of Malibu, dude. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I've been out in the desert for hours. I need water. Oh. This was such a bad idea. I can't survive out here for 24 hours. It's nothing but sand. Ugh. Whoa! Camels. Whoa! There's so many camels. What? Oh. All right. They wear clothes. That one's name is Jerry. This is crazy. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, I think it's huge. Yeah, dude. These camels are smaller. These camels are, are actually massive in real life. And it's funny. The first thing that... Right, what was the first thing you said when you got out of the car? I smelled that. What did it smell like? Oh, it smells like home. Home. It, it smells like all of this dropping. I actually grew up in upstate New York where they're famous for their camels. Oh. A lot of camels there. A lot of camels. Yeah. It's the camel capital. All right, stove is going with. Oh, this is my camel? Okay, hold up. I guess we're just getting right into it. Like that. All right, so there's handles. I'm sitting on the hum. There's stone. Oh All right, guys. Well, this is interesting. Oh, oh I'm going up. Oh.
This is crazy. Yo, we're way off the ground. This is actually insane. I never thought I'd be riding a camel. And then uh, here we are. Liz, I'm riding a camel. Oh, uh, this is a little bit blue. Oh, that's uh, okay. Okay, yep. Okay, we're, we're gonna walk. Look at these legs. Oh, you guys are up. Liz, your camel is huge. Hey, let's go. Camel yes, yeah, so yeah. your cable has a huge hump. It Look doesn't. at it sticking out. Touch it. Ah, you're touching the hump. My hump is like not that big. Hump. His hump is not that big. He's probably thirsty. Mine was a little smaller. <laughs> 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 you comfortable, Snow? Uh, I'm very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever ridden a camel before? Oh, I've never ridden a camel before. Uh, I've ridden a horse. And I want to say when I was really young, I did an elephant back in the day. Oh, do it in similar? I don't. Uh, no, this is weird because I'm like just straddled, like hanging off. Or anything. Yeah, we're not strapped in, and this is actually broken. So I'm gonna just probably hold on more with this hand. We're like what, ten feet off the ground? Our heads are, yeah. Yeah, we often run. <laughs> Why is he doing? Oh, that's hilarious. We're kind of bouncing in the oh 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 boy that was crazy I just ran into that guy that could mean that other camel just hit oh you're getting humped oh we're getting a little close to this guy let's keep our distance buddy yeah I'm holding on so tight right now so no, don't fall off. It's not the most comfortable ride in the world, but you know, if I had to, if I had to traverse the Sahara Desert, or I guess we're in a Middle East, I don't really know what the desert is called, but if we had to go across this whole thing. Yeah, I, I think, think I think a camel would be a nice ride. You think so? I don't compared to, compared to on foot? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. 100%. Look at the legs on this guy. That thing looks crazy. What? Camels are cool, but honestly, guys, this thing. It's a monster truck school bus. Like, I need that. All right, the other thing about these camels is their feet. Look at the foot. Like, I don't know. If I just showed you that, you would think it's like an alien or something. Look at the foot. Not Steph's foot. This foot. This foot. Hey, get your foot out of there. <laughs> these camel feet are just crazy. <laughs> and also the necks, too. Like, they just are swooping. Are you enjoying the camel? Of course, man. Of course. All right. Hey! hey. Let's go! No hands. Hey. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get squished. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I got God. squished. Oh, oh, oh. I got no hands on the camel. Hey, hey, hey. Woo, woo. Get it, so get it, get it. Ah. Oh, little intersection. Oh, we're gonna crash. Oh, I'm gonna get whacked again. Hey. Hey, Carter. What's up? Yeah. Camel back riding. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, let's go, stand! Camel walking. All right, now we're going for the interesting part, the sit down. The stand up was pretty wild, so I think the sit down is gonna be probably, could be even crazier than the stand up. Let's see. How does a camel sit down? I want you guys to comment down. Do they go even, or do they go front first, or do they go back first? There's three options. Uh, I'm gonna say it's the opposite of the get up, so I feel like it's gonna be front first. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Myself right here now. we go. Okay. Hang go. on, Stone. We're oh going down. Oh, 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 okay. It's front first. And then the back. Oh, okay. Oh, front. And then the rear. Oh, oh, oh. oh and then they just Good boy. relax. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Oh, and that is camel riding. Woo. There they go. Front first. You guys commented front legs first. You guys were right. And also, just to get a better sense of scale, here is Liz and Ryan up, and I'm standing, and they are literally way above our heads. Liz! Yeah. Hi. No, 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 no. Here they go. Let's see if Liz can do it. Hang on, Liz! Hang on! It's gonna be crazy! Oh! Hang on, Liz! He doesn't want to sit. Oh, there he goes. That's good to know. So camels don't run or gallop like horses. Um, they just walk nice and slow and steady, but they're like the tortoise. I think they can go for like miles and miles. They fill up gallons of water so they can survive in the desert for days. They fill them humps. My camel had a big hump. Woo, what's up guys? We are out here in the desert of Qatar. We're about to go on the dune buggies. This is actually gonna be so crazy because the deserts out here are huge. 
And we're gonna go with this uh, this yeah, blue, one. blue one. Yep, Stowe's favorite color. Yes, sir. Here's a helmet for you. Hey. Nice and red. Hey, Stowe. Yeah. What's the last thing Liz did with the doom buggy? Yeah. yeah. Liz, you ready for this? Backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the last time we did something like this with T-Bar guys, we were on the sand dunes of Pismo, California, and Liz and Stove were actually paired up, and Liz actually rolled it. So we'll see how things go. They're literally very similar machines. Uh, I think the deserts are even bigger, so I think the roll factor is higher, but we'll see how things go. All right, so I guess we just gotta get going. We gotta get going, they said hurry up. Yeah, we gotta hurry up, so we're gonna strap on. We got Liz and Ryan in front of us this time. I am glad that I am not in Liz's ATV, because last time I was in the ATV with Liz, we actually rolled down like a hundred foot mountain, so I'm a lot more safer with Carter. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be good. We're not gonna be flipping, but we will be jumping. Ooh, Ooh, let's do it. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's like something out of like the apocalypse or something. <laughs> look at all these. Oh, look at that purple one. We got a whole line in front of us. So we're in the ATV right now, but apparently there is going to be a camel in our so I'm really hyped to check out if there's gonna be camels out here. Oh, yo. We are going up that big mountain right now, guys. Our journey just started, but it's already pretty crazy. <laughs> gotta go a little faster to catch. Oh, oh there's an ocean view over there. Yo, this is crazy. Wow. This is wild. Look at this. We got Ryan and Liz. Yeah. Oh, my. This is crazy. Hang on, stop. It's gonna be. Looks like we're getting a moment to just chill for a second. I gotta give you just a crazy update. Like the world that I'm in, this feels like something out of Star Wars, honestly. It's absolutely wild. Just look at the landscape here, guys. I'm pretty sure off in the distance, yeah, you can see the ocean. There's actually a ship right there, which is crazy. We're in the deserts of the Middle East, a part of the world that I don't really know much about, and honestly, probably couldn't have even pointed to it on a map. And now that I'm standing here, this is just so wild. I mean, Stove, where the heck are we? Hey! There's nothing around us. Yeah, it's like sand for miles and miles and miles. Oh, there's so much sand in my mouth right now. <laughs> yeah, we're both a little sandy. Hey! All right, we're getting yelled at. Getting yelled at. Getting yelled at. Oh my gosh, look. This car in front of us is gonna disappear now. Oh my god! I gotta hang on! <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell off camera, that was almost like a 90 degree drop right there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh my god. There's Ryan and Liz. Look at them! You gotta beat them, Carter! Bye! <laughs> We're gonna do a little swap now. We're gonna be putting stove oh, in the yeah, driver's seat. Go. Are hey. you ready? Yeah, uh, well, we don't <laughs> flip it over like you did, uh, like Liz did that one time. Uh, I'm not gonna be like that. Hey, there they go. And so bizarre. Oh, buddy. I gotta get used to it. Let me warm up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, warm up. I'm gonna hold on to my bar. Hey. Hold on tight. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of it's a little rough, but. Yeah, we're on a bumpy part of the dunes here for sure. Stove got to drive for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe two. Maybe, yeah, it wasn't even five. Yeah, it was probably literally two minutes. As soon as I stepped on the pedal, we were there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Oh, man. We 
We should have switched at the first stop. Yeah, I mean, that's why. I mean, I'm, I'm still the same. I'm out jet skiing on the water with my brother and sister and a huge thunderstorm is coming right towards us. This is not good. The wind is picking up. We're gonna get stuck in the storm. Woo! Quick! Wait, it's definitely coming. We're gonna go this. We wanna go. You went to drive into the storm first? Yeah. Uh -oh. We gotta get out of here. Oh, there was lightning again. I saw it. That was the third one. It's getting closer. The car's freaking out. Uh oh. Storm siren. Check this out. Nice and sunny right here, but then over here, storm clouds. You gotta get back. It's crazy because the sun is coming out, but it's so stormy over there. You can see it rolling in. We gotta go a little faster. Look at this guy. He's out running the storm. He's trying to get home, but we have to go the other way. Oh, there's more lightning. There is no safe place to be outside during a thunderstorm, but by far the worst place you could be is on the water. I should have known. I checked the weather report earlier and it said a big storm was coming in, but I went out anyways and now we are in big trouble. How are we gonna get home? I don't know. Is it this way? I don't even know how to get home. Okay. Oh, I can see lightning. There's a lot of lightning. Guys, yeah. this vlog is taking the turn for the worst. It's pretty scary. We're getting closer to home, but it is starting to get dark. We just came out of the sun, and the sun isn't even shining much anymore. It's kind of getting blocked by other clouds. I think we still have a couple miles to go. Oh, the first rain drops in. These jet skis are leaving. This is a no wake zone, but they're like, we need to get on the plane and get out of here. So they're just breaking the rules to get away from the lightning and the storm. I don't think they have any idea that they're driving right into a storm with lightning and lightning rods on their boat. That's a little crazy. Oh, there's more lightning. We better get home soon. We just made it. Oh, Grace jumped in. What the heck? Why'd you jump in? I fell off. You fell off? You better get out before the lightning storm comes. We barely made it back to shore in time, but this is just the start of our problems. The lightning is getting bigger and bigger and it's coming right towards us. I really hope we don't get struck. We got the jet skis back. Oh, you can hear the thunder rumbling in the distance. Oh, oh my gosh. The house is flooding. What do you mean? Listen, the rain is going through there. Oh, oh. oh, oh there's a raccoon. God, I think that's the storm. I'm gonna peek outside. I just shared, but I think the storm hit. It only took a few minutes. Oh my goodness, it is oh, stormy with lightning. The jet skis barely made it back in time. Oh, oh. Steve, I think the lightning just struck the house. Did you feel it? Oh my gosh, it's lightning it so much. It's the most lightning I've ever seen. Hopefully we didn't leave anything outside. Oh my gosh, Chris, there's so much lightning. Guys, this is not good. The house is taking on a major water. Everything is flooded and it sounds like there's a tornado outside. I'm honestly afraid the house is gonna collapse or worse. Oh. What's up guys? We had to start rolling on the cameras again because the storm is getting worse. There's oh. lightning striking like every few seconds. The lights are flickering. Oh, oh. this is bad. We gotta get inside. Yeah, but we also experienced some of the highest highs that we have seen all year during a thunderstorm, which is making it worse. So the whole island might be flooding. In your house, we might lose power. We might flood. The pool's overflowing right now. The pool's overflowing. Oh, the pool is literally overflowing. Oh my goodness. Here, we'll get this. struck. You see that? Oh! Oh my god. This is literally insane, guys. This is like no joke. No Steven is actually scared. All right, mini golf is canceled. Okay, no mini golf. I don't think we're gonna go out and get ice cream. No. It's gonna be hard to celebrate Nicole's birthday. The wind is coming, blowing in here. Come on. Come we on. might lose power. We might not be able to celebrate Nicole's birthday. Grace, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. The storm on this island is so crazy that we have to start saving power. So I turned off some lights and I put a candle so we can get some light because we're about to lose power. Yeah. There's too much energy during the storm on this island. Yeah, that's true. If we turn oh my gosh, the, the lightning is we crazy. We have to save power so we don't lose it. The more lights we turn off, the less chance we'll get struck by lightning. Yeah. We have to conserve energy. Guys, I heard on the news to turn our air conditioners off. Is that what they say during yeah. a lightning? Because there's too many people running by. 
low temperature air conditioners. They want us to turn them off. Guys, this storm is so bad right now. Look how bad the wind is over there. And the lightning is literally unbelievable. Carter, Carter, come here, I want to show you something. What, Mom? What's going on? Oh my gosh, the house is literally flooding. What the heck? Look at that. It looks like we're underwater. It's just pouring. How is that possible? Oh, isn't that horrible? How am I going to get home? Oh my gosh. Honor and Cooper at that tiny house. Oh my gosh. Steven, the, we're underwater. Generator flashlight. Mom, I think we do have an issue with the house because you see this. Uh, that's water damage. That's water damage? I don't, it didn't, didn't happen again. Yeah. I, I know. Oh, the street's starting to flood. Oh, the street's definitely flooding. Come on. Oh my God. Is it? Yeah. The street's flooding. 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 Wait. The window. I, I just saw that. Grace, we gotta go outside. This window is always leaking. Yeah, that's not good. Right, you saw it here? Yeah. The street is literally flooding right now. This is not good. Oh, wow. Is it actually flooded? Oh, it's literally flooding. <gasps> Steven, your Lambos are gonna get wet. I know. The Tesla is sitting in prime flood. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I do it my brain, so I brought poncho. I'll go out and save the Mom, you can't put a poncho on. I, I, I can't go out there. There's too much lightning. It's like every two seconds, you're getting struck. But what about the car? Mom, <laughs> don't go out there. It's too dangerous. I'm getting ready just in case I have to. It's literally too dangerous. How am I going to get home? I want to go look at them before it's too late. They were already flooding when I came here. They're just from the side. Mom, do not go out there. It's too dangerous. Oh, it just struck behind you. What was that? I don't know. <gasps> Mom, let's go outside. Is it? Later that night, after the storm died down, we decided to go on a drive and see the damage. <gasps> oh my gosh, the bench is completely flooded. Oh, you can see the water moving. It's like. Oh, it's flowing across the street. Oh, wow. That is not good. This street is completely oh, the gonna get flooded. And it goes all the way through the sidewalk into their yard. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's flooding into their yard. Is it getting worse or better? That car's almost under. This car literally is almost under. The whole island was literally underwater. Everything was flooded. Look at the water, guys. The front yard to the house was completely underwater. It's this corner house is bad. Wow. That is so bad. Oh, look at their drains working. Oh, wow. I wonder what that was going. It went up and now it's going back down. It came out of those drains to begin with. Oh. It comes out of the city but it's underwater because it's like that is their yard that part portion of the yard is underwater completely you're scared already i can feel the hauntedness guys here it is the front of the school millie's starting to get scared she's starting to vibrate it sounds eerie you hear that you can hear like spirits sounds crazy do you hear that yeah what is that we are at an abandoned high school. Liz, are you ready? Carter, I don't know about this. What, are you scared of ghosts? No, I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> well, it's getting dark, and you guys need to go hide in three, two, one, go! Woo! Liz and Andrew are hiding. I'm gonna be seeking, and what they don't know is I'm going to be cheating with a thermal camera. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be discovering some ghosts in this haunted game of hide and seek. Ready or not, guys, here I come. Ooh, this is turn around. This place is just falling apart. It's kind of crazy, but... As for me, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm down to hide wherever's necessary. Come out, come out guys, wherever you are. This place is so haunted. Liz. I found a really creepy room right here. This looks like a pretty decent spot. I think I can totally hide out in here. Guys, I think us splitting up was a bad idea. Oh, there's a chair. Hello? Liz. Guys, I can hear Carter. Hello? 
I'm realizing that this game is gonna get scarier and scarier the darker it gets. Oh! oh. Back here, I'm wearing all black. Why is this chair it's so gross? And it says get out again. I wonder if that's a bad warning or if it's just graffiti. Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from this door. I feel like I can hear something in here. Is there something? That was literally the most terrifying thing in my life. I scared you? I am so happy that was you. I was literally about to just leave. That was a great hiding spot though, right? <laughs> one down, one to go. Liz! Andrew is found, so that means it is time to upgrade. We are adding an iPhone with a thermal camera. What this is gonna allow us to do is let us see in the dark. So if Andrew was hiding and I didn't have any light, I'd be able to see him clear as day with the heat vision camera right there. Let's keep searching and see if we can't find you guys now. To show you how powerful this thermal camera is, if I walk over here and I take the light off, it's completely dark, but yet you can still see me waving my hands around. And so this is how we are going to be able to discover Liz or any warm object. It also might be a great way to look at ghosts. Okay guys, I'm like so scared, so I'm just gonna stay in this room because there's still some daylight left. Uh, just you. That's all I see. Nothing else is warm. Uh, whoa, that ceiling is warm. What the heck? Why is the ceiling so warm? It's freezing outside right now. How can the ceiling be hot? That makes no sense. We're doing a little thermal camera test. We're gonna see if it can actually detect, like, heat. If someone was sitting here, and then maybe they move. Can you oh see my it? gosh, yeah. What the That's heck? That's my hand from right there. That is insane. So if Liz was sitting somewhere or leaning against the wall, we'd be able to detect that she was there. I was Liz, I would squeeze through small places. Yeah, of course. Oh, guys, it's getting so dark in cars so that we would be done with this video before it got dark. I'm getting so freaked out. Liz, are you still in here? Scan this room. Scan in there. Liz? Oh, that's fine. I heard something. That's fine. Liz, look at this tripod. That's so creepy. Ooh. Why is there a tripod? Tripod. Whoa. It's hot. Yeah. Why is that showing up hot? What the heck? There's heat coming out of the electrical panel? That should all be turned off. That's weird. There's no power in this place. Okay, let's keep going. Liz? I'm leaving this camera rolling in case something happens to me. Oh, there's some warmth in this room. Is there? A little bit. The room itself is a little bit warm. It's glowing. This says we see you. That's creepy. Wait, gotta keep going. It's sketchy. Scan this room. <gasps> what is that? What the? I do. What the hell? I can't see it. Carter? Liz? She's so scary. Hey, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. We should just get out of here. Okay, well, let's, let's keep oh going. Oh my god, I'm so lightheaded. Why? What happened? You okay? Liz. No, I'm actually really lightheaded. You look pale like a ghost. I don't feel good. The camera just stopped. Are you serious? The camera glitched? 100%. Uh -oh. It's not even working anymore. What the heck? Every time we come to a haunted place, our cameras always shut down. And Liz is feeling sick. And Millie, she looks like she's actually crying a little bit. She's got tears. Whoever wrote that <laughs> definitely does not want us here. Millie saw stuff. She saw stuff? Yo! 
Somebody's coming. Liz. Oh. Quick. Shoot. Get inside. I think that's the cops. Actually? Yes. So we gonna talk to them? No. Let's hide. Get down, get down, get down. Dude, that's a cop. That's a hundred percent a cop. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Oh yeah, I think he saw us. Why is he not coming here or saying anything? Hang on. He's leaving. What? It just left. There's no way he didn't see us. Like, There's I, no freaking way. That's so weird. It literally just left. Unless he's coming heck? back. Maybe he's coming back with backup. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, oh, you hear saying? that? What? I just heard something there. I swear. I just heard something way back there. Okay, let's just go. Okay. What does that say on the wall? Does that say get out? Guys, look at that. It's so weird showing up in the thermal camera, but not at all on the iPhone. Get what? out. I'm pretty sure that says like G-E-T out. Look at that. It definitely says out, but there's nothing on the wall that shows it. Okay, we gotta go. Get to the car. That's what the heck? We need to go. All right, buckle up, let's go. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 Andrew, get the car started. Come on. I don't see him anywhere. I think we're clear. You think he's waiting for us? Liz, what do you think that guy, that car was? You think it was a cop? No. Because they would have been waiting for us at the front. Andrew, did you see it? No, I didn't see anything. There was a pitch black out there. How did you not see that? I don't know what you guys are talking about, but... You were by the car the whole time, right? Yeah. Guys, I don't know. That's so weird. I'm starting to think it wasn't a cop. It didn't say police on it. Comment down below what you guys think it is, guys. A huge storm is rolling in! Oh! Thunderstorm. Like, the lightning is, like, coming right overhead. I had to film it. Let's see. Oh! There's one. I'm gonna just film for a bit and just see what we can catch because I've been sitting out here and it's wild. It started in the distance and it's coming right overhead. I feel pretty safe we got lightning rods in the house and stuff, so like, I'm under it, should be okay. But uh, yeah, like it's, it's quite spectacular what's going on out here. Oh, that was huge. Thunder's probably coming in three, two, one. That was awesome. That was so sick. Oh my gosh, that literally struck down right over there. Man, it's not every day we get lightning out here. It seems to happen like, I don't know, every couple weeks or something like that. But then we get some just crazy lightning storms that just come through and it's so cool to watch. It feels so, like the vibe of it is so fun. It's like a hot day, the, the clouds roll in, sometimes it rains, sometimes it drizzles, sometimes it's not at all like this. It cools off, it's like, it gets a little bit darker, and then you get the rumble and cracks of the lightning, and it's like, I don't know, I love that. I grew up on the East Coast and like having these like afternoon thunder storms. Oh, that was huge. It's like I'm in the middle of the Rainforest Cafe. It's like tropical, it's so nice. I think a big one is coming. The wind's picking up, it's flashing. Water trampolines, oh, there we go. Water trampolines banging around. That was like a big red one. To me, it sounds like superheroes are flying around up there, like fighting or something. Oh, look at the storm. Oh my God, oh, ow. Okay, we're getting some strong wind. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh, a little bit of a drizzle coming now. Huge gusts of wind picking up. This is, honestly, it's so entertaining. I'm literally out here by myself just vlog with you guys. But man, the vibe, the ambiance, I just love it. It's so cool. I'm trying to capture like the craziest light. Any minute now, we're gonna get something wild. I just know it. There we go. That was a good one. Oh, two in a row. <laughs> This is actually crazy. Honestly, I haven't seen a lightning storm like this good in like, I don't know, a long time. I'm honestly just scared to put my phone down because I feel like as soon as I stop recording, something crazy is gonna hit and I'm gonna miss it. You guys are gonna see it. Oh, another one over there. They're hitting like there, it's hitting there. There's a boat over there that got wrecked onto the sand. Look at that, completely out of the water. It's like a sailboat. We gotta go explore it. This is actually crazy. I wanted to explore the other shipwreck, but it ended up like literally breaking in 
the wind or whatever, but then here's another one as we're out here in the ocean kayaking right now. We're gonna pull up to it and go check it out. Be careful, Liz! Oh my gosh! Guys, look, there it is. That is the boat we are going to explore. It is an absolute shipwreck. It's called the Phantom Sea. And it's like a sailboat. It kind of looks haunted or something. All right, Liz, go full speed. Full speed, Liz, here we go. Uh-oh, we're gonna hit the only rock. Oh, Liz, we hit the only rock. Oh, there's a cave. Liz, look, there's a cave. Uh-oh, Liz. Whoa! All right, go, 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 don't hit the rock this time. Don't be sideways or we're gonna shipwreck. All right. Guys, look, there's literally a cave right here, too. Again, it's not that big of a cave, but it's still a cave. All right, so this is our first stop, and I'm already noticing uh, some things all over this beach. Maybe it's from the shipwreck. But there is like some clothes, some rope, and then a, a radio. Little walkie talkie. Liz, I think it's possible whoever was on that boat when it shipwrecked, they got stranded here and they had to like call an emergency team to rescue them. That's what it might have been happening with that radio over there. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know how long this thing has been here, but it is for sure an absolute shipwreck. Look at that. There's like, I think they were totally stranded. Look. Whoa. They were probably having to survive on this island for like at least a night, if not maybe like a day. You think people are in there? There's like life jackets and stuff. There's a lighter and some scissors. Liz, I don't know if anyone would be in there. It looks like it's kind of messed up. Be careful. Completely wrecked. What? Oh my gosh. This is wild, Liz. Look at the hole. Whoa. I don't think anyone's in here. Oh boy, man. But yeah, you can see. Look on the ship. Wow. Wow. Guys, check out the bottom side of this boat. To give you an idea of what the bottom of a sailboat looks like, it's crazy. It has this massive fin that goes down the center and a little tiny prop, I guess, is all it really has. I guess they don't really use props. They, you know, that's just for kind of in and out of the harbor or something like that. But, wow, this thing is like kind of huge. It's called the Phantom Sea. It looks like an old boat. So it's not like it's a brand new yacht or anything like that that crashed. But whoa, I just found something cool. Look at this. This is like, oh man, it's stuck in there. Whoa, it really got wedged in there. There it is. Got it. It's like a little teapot. Maybe there's a genie in there. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Hey, get out of here. What you doing? Oh my God, you scared me. Hey, Liz. There's a shoe right here, too. There's a shoe right here, too. All right, guys, I'm on the shipwreck right now. This is crazy. Look at this lever. I don't even know what that does. And then there's a cavity under here. You guys see anything interesting? You guys need to comment down below if you guys see anything. I'm not going to take anything because it's not my boat. But I'm just kind of exploring the wreckage. Wow. Alright Liz. Alright, we got it. I think it's time for us to leave. We kind of explored it. There's really not a whole lot to see. I didn't dig through the hidden treasures because this is someone's boat. It's not like it's an ancient shipwreck where it's all like up for grabs or whatever. So I don't really want to, you know, steal anything. But what's really crazy is there's this animal in the creek right here. I'm going to try to just keep rolling so you guys, this has happened three times. I look over my shoulder, it gets closer to me and it jumps into the water. It's big, like the size of like a small monkey or a beaver. I mean, I, there's no monkeys out here, I'm sure, but it's possible it could be an alligator, but it like kind of creeps up on me and I'm gonna see if I can capture it. I just called Hunter, he's on his way to pick me up on the ATV. But anyways, out here somewhere, 
there is some kind of creature. I don't know how beavers react, but like I'll be like working on, I'm help trying to survey the land out here. And as soon as I like, I'll be still for a minute and then I'll move and it'll be like near me, but I don't see it. And it jumps into the water. So then I turn and it's a big poop of like water. It's way bigger than a frog or toad. It's not a snake. I think it's probably some kind of like mammal, but let's just be on the lookout. I'd love to catch it on camera. It's possible it lives in this or it's just overgrown. I don't know. Definitely lives out here. The one time it, it seemed like it jumped off the tree and landed there. The other time it was over there and jumped in the water. And then as I was about to leave, it jumped again over there. So I think it went downstream. I honestly have no idea what it is, but the reason why I think it could be a beaver is because there's one, well, maybe this is another one. That looks like it might've been hacked apart by a beaver. I don't know how quick these things are. I don't know how many they live in packs. Oh, hold up. I'm seeing more signs. I think it's a beaver guys. Look, there's that. I'm seeing one across the way. That is all chewed up right there. I don't know if beavers are aggressive. I've only ever seen one in my life. And that was actually in my parents' backyard growing up. It was swinging our pond and it was big. I mean, it was the size of like a medium sized dog. It was fat. If I had to pick it up, it'd be like a big hug. Like it was a very large beaver. So I don't know much about beavers, but it looks like there are some signs of beavers down here, which is pretty cool. But uh, it's definitely scary because I'm out here far. Like this is like 60 acres of my property here and uh, I'm at the end of it. I'm pretty far away. It was a quite, a quite a walk to get out here. So I called Hunter to come pick me up and I can hear him in the distance. I don't see him yet. Let's go. You're not even on the trail. That was so deep back there. It was like up to here with mud. No. I was afraid it was gonna get stuck. It was that yeah. deep? Yeah, it was extremely deep. What you didn't even though? get any muddy. This is where you used to be bogging. Dude, I thought for sure I was gonna get stuck back there. It was like, there's no it was, way. It was like up to here. No. It was crazy. My foot is wet. It's all wet up here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks clean. <laughs> this is where you should be bogging. This is a free for all back here. All right, this one looks crazy. This is just water. It's not as scary as mud. I feel like mud you're gonna get stuck. In. But there's an animal out here. It's going crazy. I tried to capture it, but I couldn't find it again. Yeah, I think this is a crawfish hole. I don't know, guys. There's these little chimneys. I've seen them before. I've never seen anything like this before. Whoa, something's in there. Really? It could yeah. be a snake, like, I guess not, because why would a snake do that? Why would anything do that? <laughs> I mean, something does it, because <laughs> these things are everywhere, and they're big. I mean, that's the size of, like, my hand. That's crazy. I don't know what that is. I mean, there's some animal out here, I'm telling you. It, like, I'm jumped glad. out of the tree or something. Glad it didn't kill you. Yeah. Come I on. can hear it over there. Oh, I heard that one. I hear something over there. It's, like, over there. Yeah, I'm not making that up. It's, like, we both pointed it's at like the walking. Same Let's go take the ATV and see what's going on. It's a dog. I think they're eating a dog. Yeah, I think they're eating a dog. The neighbor's dog? It. it sounds like a dog over there. Get your ATV, Liz. What was it, Liz? What happened? What was it? We have to get a gun. My Uber has arrived. We're gonna get stuck out here. We're not gonna get stuck. Corn a million there? Oh, good. Can't let them go out there. I think it's just a pack of them going crazy in the woods. There's nothing that way, it's just all woods. It's not like there's a yard over there or something. I'm gonna go hunt them down, put coyote with them out. They're, they're like, woo, we're gonna eat tonight if those little fluff balls come out one more time. We're gonna get them. Woohoo! They're celebrating. Woohoo! We're gonna eat good tonight. Oh my gosh, and there's the snack. There's the entree right there. Millie's the snack, Kona's the entree. Oh, there's it's so high tide today and foggy. Very interesting. Liz, you have a good break after this one. No, it's good. Whoa, here we go. You gotta make it past after this one, ready? You see that one coming in? After that one, oh, it's a big one, Liz. <laughs> Where are you going? Liz, we're, oh, it's huge! Oh, okay, ready? You have another big one. It's even bigger. Whoa, that was a big one. Liz, after this one, you gotta go. Okay. I'm gonna put you on, you and Millie, and you gotta go. Okay. This one is, oh my gosh. All right, ready? All right, go. We gotta get over that one. Uh-oh, this is gonna be interesting. And, whoa, whoa. All right, go. Here we go. Hop on, hop on. I'm gonna push you out. 
All right, go Liz. There she goes, she is off. Wow, what interesting waters we have today. Wow, we got a big one coming. <laughs> hey guys, on the Pacific Coast, we get some big waves out here. I'm not used to it. I grew up on the East Coast, so it's just so interesting, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. I don't know if you guys can even see her out there. She's disappearing into the clouds. If you haven't seen the jet surf, it's this thing. It's a jet ski inside a wakeboard. It's the craziest thing. But we're gonna take it out right now. All right, this is gonna be very, very interesting. Even ready at all for this. We have a huge gap in the waves, which is great. And we're just gonna go, I guess. This is a blessing. I'd be wrecked right now if I was going out when Liz was trying to go out. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, we have a big one. I sure hope it starts. There goes Lizzie. All right, really? Time for me and you to hang out. There she is. Woo this is Jet Surf with her booty hanging out. I wonder if I can strap you guys 
in here, like that. It's probably a decent angle. Good girl, I'll be right there. Oh, and there's fish. Oh my gosh, my dear, fish underneath us. Millie, what are you doing standing on here? The view of Millie's butt. Here comes Lizzie. Millie, what is she doing out there? Whoa, Millie girl, you're a sea dog. She's a paddleboard doggo. She's just a baby dog. She's just a baby dog. You did good. Ooh, that was fun. I think I'm good. You're done? Yeah. Should I take Millie for a ride? Yeah, you should. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Millie's like, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. What if we just let Millie drive all by herself? <laughs> She'd be flying. She'd be like, zoo, 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 zoo. She's just a baby dog. She's just a baby dog. All right, guys, Millie's gonna go on the jet surf for the very first time in her entire life. Here goes. Millie, you ready? <sighs> oh my gosh, Millie! She's on! Oh! That has got to be the cutest thing in the whole wide world. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. The black pearl. Where? The black pearl. Guys, what is that? Whoa. What is that? It's the black pearl. Also, what the heck is that? Carter, you're going too far. 